please subscribe to Morris TVGH. A challenging exercise. Um, as Kwesi hinted, many were beginning to form the view that the journalism fraternity was not capable of managing its own affairs. Your election and the speed with which you have started work should give all of us cause to believe, once again, that we can build a great GJA moving forward. The challenges themselves. Second, let me, on your behalf, convey our most deep condolences as a fraternity to one of our brothers, one of our very recent winners of the Journalist of the Year Award, our brother Bernard Kokuavle, who's just lost his beloved wife. I was with him yesterday, and as tough as the times may be, he and the children are holding on. I want to implore you that you make some time to pray that the Lord will give him strength in these difficult times. Journalism and the Association of Journalists has long had an important role in the life of our nation. Even before independence, the burgeoning media industry of newspapers at the time was a major contributor in advancing the course of self-determination and building the new nation states that we were thinking about. The founding fathers of our nation may not have achieved as much as they did if they had not had a complement of strong newspapers and strong journalists of their day to help advance their cause. Over the years, as our economy has grown and as our governance has grown into the Fourth Republican Dispensation, our media outlets have also increased, bringing with it more outlets, more journalists, and more works of journalism, at accordingly in this space. In recent years, we have been confronted with issues such as the welfare of journalists, that's been spoken about here a lot this evening, the safety of journalists, the economic conditions of journalists, the capacity and quality of work of journalists, as well as the image and funds. We are also confronted with immense opportunities, such as what technology is affording us, so that we can reach large audiences instantaneously and at low costs. Opportunities to specialize in our profession, opportunities to deepen our knowledge, and opportunities to build a stronger and better association. It is at this seminal moment that you have been elected to assume the reins of leadership, to steer the affairs of this association, and to overcome today's challenges, and to take advantage of today's opportunities. It's my understanding that since assumption of office, you have already commenced a review of the association's awards program, and additionally, you are looking to use this retreat to examine how to reposition the GJA for the future. As you commence your work, starting with this retreat, I'm happy to have the opportunity to be with you and to share with you a few thoughts. Number one, I think that it will be important for you to pay attention to understanding why so few practitioners of journalism are members of the GJA. There must be a good reason for which many who practice the trade and are known to the public as practicing journalists do not find the association attractive enough to join. Your ability to succeed in impacting the journalism space starts with your ability to examine why many of our colleagues are not joining the association. Your ability to succeed starts with working to make the association attractive enough to bring all of these practitioners on board. That way, your sphere of influence can be significant enough to impact the landscape and ensure that journalists play a more effective role in our nation-building exercise. Number two, I think it's also important that the GA pays attention, the GJA pays attention to the welfare and economic well-being of journalists. The recent World Press Freedom Index prepared by Reporters Without Borders shows that the most significant variable, which is weakening press freedom in Ghana, is the poor economic state of many media houses and media practitioners, including journalists. A journalist who is not paid, or who is poorly paid, a journalist whose media house does not care about his welfare, or who is left to the risks of the job, is limited in how freely he or she can do sacrosanct journalism. It must be of interest to you how the issues of welfare and the economic sustenance of journalists are addressed, because this will help in ensuring that journalists are better placed and respected in our service to the Republic. Number three, I think that it's equally important how well you follow up on incidents of attacks on journalists. 
If you, the umbrella body, go to bed when your members are attacked by state or non-state actors, then the safety of journalists may be compromised. Number four, it must be of importance to you how the capacity of journalists is continuously built. Finally, you must be interested in preserving the quality of and respect for journalism. The work of journalists should be upheld and defended by you. Do not allow any part of our society to undermine or cow journalists into submission. This also means that when you see something masquerading as journalism, which you know is not journalism, and is in breach of the ethics and standards of the profession, do not stay silent. If the society sees it as wrong and you pretend you haven't seen it, journalism and journalists will be defined by it. One bad apple will spoil the bunch. So stand up for journalism and call out at the same time what is not journalism. It is my fervent hope that if you keep an eye on some of these areas while you tackle the many things that you campaigned on, your tenor will go down in the annals of the GGA and Ghana's history as a team that helped to rebuild the image of our fraternity. You are friends at the Ministry of Information, you are friends in government, you are friends in the development agencies, and all of us are willing and ready to support you to succeed. Congratulations, get to work and succeed. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell for more updates.